So there's been a lot of talk about Amazon releasing an Android tablet and also now some Android smartphones. Now, it's yet to be proven whether this is true or not, but uh, knowing Amazon, the power they have and the motivation they have to take over uh, what seems to be the internet and, and the technology world, uh, it wouldn't come as a surprise to me if they actually did. And I think this is quite interesting news for a couple of reasons. I think them producing an Android tablet will uh, open the eyes of many other manufacturers out there to see what they're doing wrong. Amazon have done fantastically well with their Kindle. They've designed a product that's suitable for all at a price point uh, that again is uh, suitable for most people. And if they could do the same with an Android tablet, then uh, the future's looking very bright for them indeed. Now, whether you'll get the ongoing support and what have you uh, in terms of the operating system versions, um, we'll have to see and, and what you get in the package will be interesting as well but if they can do anything half as well as they have done on the Kindle then uh, a Android tablet from Amazon has uh, got to only be a good thing because at the moment tablets are extremely expensive um, yes I have one but uh, for the majority of people it's a very expensive resource and something that they probably don't get the uh, true value out of especially in an, in an average household be interested to hear your comments on that one and the same thing with smartphones it could be a really good thing for individuals who only have perhaps a standard mobile phone or feature phone and want to venture into smartphones but again what will the devices be like what will the software be like probably for uh, the more techie ones out there uh, they won't be that interesting but Amazon could have a massive impact and um, ultimately in the long term help the smartphone market because of their presence um, it will have a big, big impact on some of the uh, other manufacturers out there in, how, in terms of how they compete on price point but we've already seen that manufacturers like Huawei um, and uh, such like in the, the Far East can produce devices very cheaply so it's more than likely that Amazon can team up with one of those if they can't do it themselves to produce something that is very cost effective more than likely a little bit more expensive than the uh, Kindle but if they can get anything around about the £200 uh, price point they're bound to succeed because at that po po uh, price point most people can uh, afford to take a bit of a chance, try a product out um, and also with uh, Amazon's returns policy if they don't like it they can probably send it back pretty quickly but uh, it'd be an interesting one to see. Now another topic I want to talk about is um, Android making its way into cars Back in March, Saab made an announcement they're going to be looking to put uh, touchscreen devices into their vehicles and act as the central hub for multimedia, car controls and what have you. And it's going to use that, uh, an Android-based uh, computing system. And uh, a couple of weeks ago, a news uh, item came out about HTC and the fact that they're looking for a automotive business development director in America, um, which would suggest that they're looking into this market and I think it's a really interesting one and one in the next five to ten years will grow rapidly. We're doing much more on our cars, we've got inbuilt navigation systems, we've got hi-fi systems but many of us want much more and putting in uh, some form of simple to use computing system is no doubt the way forward. We also need to integrate our mobile phones and I expect many of you go into a car, you mount your phone into a car cradle uh, put on a Bluetooth headset or some form of uh, hands-free speaker uh, and perhaps even stream audio to your uh, car stereo because you actually sort of live your life from the mobile phone or your smartphone as opposed to the, the car itself. And imagine HTC are looking to begin investigations in how they can work something like that into uh, the automotive sector. Now I think it would be fantastic if rather than having to mount uh, my device uh, in the car I'd have a slot for it or it would synchronize because it's using Google and the Android operating system that would be brilliant to have all my music that I have on my phone in my car rather than having to stream it and connect things to it. It's a really fantastic thing I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on whether it's a uh, feasible, uh, what potentially the, the problems are and, and other things like that. So. Um, Put some comments uh, below because uh, I think it's a really interesting one and one that I'll be following uh, quite closely over the uh, coming months and years. So until next time, thanks for watching.